Hello, dear. <laughs> okay, so I'm recording a let's play of a session of kind words, so I hope it goes well. I won't plug the channel because that seems tacky. I just want to put out some positivity. Uh, wish, wish me luck. And then a little deer pops up, who's the mail delivery deer. Because, I mean, when you think about it, you always start letters by saying, Dear so-and-so. There are some setups where I have more stickers than others. Uh, but that's really not the point of the game. The point of the game is to connect. K says, any recommendations for relaxing games that don't take too much focus to enjoy? I recently played a short hike. Okay, so people also get very real on kind words and ask very deep questions. This uh, person says, I feel very lost in life. I feel like most of my choices, relationships, jobs, careers, etc., are either wrong or that I should have taken them earlier. I feel like I'm behind everyone else who is so sure of what they are doing and being successful at it. So my response is, no one really knows what they're doing. A lot of it is an act because like you, they're stressed, looking for connection and second guessing themselves. Have you read any books on the choices you're struggling with? Perhaps a Brene Brown, Malcolm Gladwell, or David Burns are authors you might like who talk about career and relationships a lot. Best of luck. Hey guys, hope everyone is taking care of themselves. I've been trying to organize my bookshelf and make more room by putting some away to give away, but I feel so attached to them. Haha. <laughs> What's one thing that's similar for you? It pains me to get rid of childhood arts and crafts, but if I don't, they just sit in boxes. Oh, typo. <laughs> just had a very bad day. I'm tired, sick, and emotionally hurt. I miss the good old days. Sorry for being so weak, just venting out. I said, I think there will be good days again soon, but it can be tough to look for them. Do you have anything you're looking forward to? I'm 25, soon 26, and I've never had a girlfriend. Some girls I loved used me as ego booster and throwed me away or just ignored me out of nowhere. I'm scared that I'll end up alone and also scared to approach girls. I feel like I do not deserve love. I don't know if this is a tough one, but I said, everybody faces rejection and heartbreak in their life. What defines you is how you bounce back from those experiences. Have you taken the time to grieve the loss of these girls you loved? And do you feel like you need a girlfriend to complete you? Or are you satisfied with yourself? Sometimes approaching relationships without self-love first only makes them harder. Who knows? Who knows if, if this is gonna work? This is probably really bad advice. I should say, I'm just a random dude. Uh... I'm not sure where I want to go with my life. I have many directions I want to pursue, but every day is a new question about the next big thing. How do I know where to go? <sighs> Listen to my podcast about values. Ha ha ha, just kidding, don't do that. I said, look back on your life and ask what experiences have made me the most happy or fulfilled and see if there's a career path that combines the skills and situations that made those times so fulfilling. What do you value about those experiences? Are you more introverted or extroverted? Creative or analytical? Slow paced or fast paced? Hi, I have spleen today. Negative feedback for the moment in my application uh, outside. The day was not great in the end. Finding a job worries me a lot. What? It hurts that my mom is so emotionally abusive and moving out isn't an option now. I'm not allowed to say when she stresses me out or hurts me because all she's done is give me a good home and never yelled at me all while she demonizes me being mentally ill. I said just because someone isn't yelling at you doesn't mean they're not being abusive. If she doesn't have empathy or understanding for your experience, is there anyone you trust to make that connection for her? It seems like it's counterproductive for you to keep explaining things to her if it's not getting through. Hope you can stay strong. Love. David. Someone sends their thanks for the letter you wrote and another frog sticker. <laughs> I need to wake up at a reasonable time to take my meds. The problem is that half the time I sleep like a log and even if I set alarms I don't wake up. When you wake up at nine hours or later you're in the middle of a REM cycle and will feel more groggy than if you got up at the end of the second cycle. I wish it was normalized to place being sensitive as a strong side by side as opposed to feeling like we're weak for feeling things. Strength shouldn't be limited to just one thing. It should be... Uh, which sites, apps, anything related to online dating have you had positive experiences with? I said it depends on what you want. Hookups, serious dating, polyamory, threesomes. I've had okay experiences with all the apps, but at the end of the day, you have to be upfront with people and recognize as soon as you can when you want different things. Someone sends their thanks with a raptor doll sticker. I withdrew myself from all of my social relationships and became intimately comfortable with everyday isolation. Will I ever stop punishing myself? Oy, 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 oy. I said, what did you do to deserve punishment? Or better yet, why don't you deserve friendships? I hope you find an outlet of some kind. Reaching out on this game is a great start. I could be giving really bad advice. This is not, I'm not qualified in any way. Someone wrote me a letter. Oh, 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 this is exciting, okay. Um, open. Oh, I wish you the best. May your experiences be fun and fruitful. Smiley face. Okay, I'm gonna say thanks with a soda. 
Oh, I got a model boat. <laughs> Why is this so fun? Oh my gosh, we have so many letters. Good luck, nice person. <laughs> Life is strange is amazing. Winky face. Dip. <laughs> Thanks, Dip. Oh, dancing gremlin. Oh, his dance is not complex, but it comes from his heart. That describes me perfectly. <laughs> the fact that you're spending time on this game trying to help others with your kind words should be enough reason for you to give yourself the amount of love it deserves from you. You're a beautiful person. Love yourself. I love you already without even knowing you. Mm. Please tell me about that unforgettable vacation. I said, one time I went to Ecuador with my family and I'll never forget New Year's Eve. We stayed up and watched the local ceremony of burning pyres to forget the old year. It was beautiful, if a little intimidating, and I hope to go again around New Year's soon. I'll actually, I'll put a picture up on screen. This is, uh, this is it. This is me in the middle of the road with a bunch of fires. I don't know what to do. I'm so alone. If my friend died, then I would cry for days, but she did not. But I don't know what to do again. Can anyone give me ideas on what to do? What? I said, um, is your friend in recovery from an injury or illness or something? I'm so sorry to hear this. Of course losing a friend would be horrible, but you can only do so much. Have you let the friend know how important they are to you? The idea of not knowing what to do is really common. I need some advice. I'm in that stage in high school where you're starting to decide what you need to do and the IB choices for that. I said, it's good to think about what you want to do in future stages of life, but you'll only really know what you enjoy by actually doing it. This person says, I feel terrible. I've spent all week trying to find a way to tell my best friend about it, but since it concerns her, I'm terrified of breaking something. What's your preferred outcome for the conversation? Do you want to stay friends, hang out more, hang out less, or do you just want to express your worry? I think if you express your worry, then say what you want out of the conversation. There's something positive to build off. If you don't have a goal and just vent to your friend, yeah, they might get worried. Lastly, you're never alone. That's anxiety talking and it's not real. Uh, have a T-bone steak. <laughs> I don't know what to call people who oh, watch Bitbun. There's part of me that wants to call them bitches, but I think, I think that's so rude. And I can just imagine a new person to the channel being like, why'd this guy call me a bitch? I don't want to watch this video. But like bitches being fans of Bitbutton would be super fun. And then if I ever meet somebody who like... <laughs> <laughs> who's like, I'm a bitch. I, I don't know, <laughs> that would really make me laugh. I hope you're all well and finding ways to stay connected in your own lives. And I will see you in a new video very soon. Bye-bye.